Okay, I want to talk about how it all started for you, wh- where it all began. You know, how did you get into cricket? Yeah, um, I got into cricket at Pudsey Kongs, um, which is short for Pudsey Congregational Cricket Club, um, which was a short walk from our house. And at school, I only had the opportunity to play football, 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 or football. Um, and I'm not a massive fan of football, <laughs> but I wanted to play sport at school, so I played football for school. I played rugby outside for um, Stanley and Pudsey um, in the winter, and in summer I played cricket for Pudsey. And it was it was there that at age 16, 17, I was playing third team cricket when Phil Carrick, an ex Yorkshire left down spinner, came to Pudsey Kongs and took one look at me and said, "Right then, I want you in the first team. Uh, what do you want to do with your life?" And I said, "Well, I." I'd like to be a vet, um, so I'm taking A levels. I want to go to university and study. He said, "How about cricket?" I said, "Well, I'd love to play cricket for a living, but I don't think I'm good enough." And he said, "Well, I do." Um, he badgered Yorkshire to get me onto the academy, um, which I did get onto, and then he sent me away to South Africa to play in Johannesburg with Richard Lum, and he he sort of like mentored me into into the Yorkshire Yorkshire second team, and then up to the first team, and it was down to Phil Carrick coming to Pudsey Kongs that I went from a third team player at a club team to international cricketer. So it's an amazing journey, isn't it? But the important, I suppose that shows the importance of club cricket. Yeah, I've got to say, cricket's got to start somewhere. Um, where if it's not at school, um, then you need to find a club that plays. Um, I was lucky, I was born in Yorkshire, and lots of traditional teams and leagues over there. And... Pudsey Kongs were, or are, in the Bradford League. And the Bradford League is one of the strongest leagues in Yorkshire. So there was a lot of great, great players. And I can remember when Phil Carrick put me into into the first team. My first, um, my first team uh, performance was against Farsley. And I can remember getting my first Bradford League wicket, which happened to be Graham Roop, um, an ex-international cricketer. Um, I managed to get him twice actually. I, I got him caught behind a no ball <laughs> and then bowled him. So, but there were, there was lots of great great names in the Bradford League. Lots of great um, overseas players. Um, thank you, um, VVS Laxman for one. Um, Yusef Yohana, um, Chris Cairns. Um, there was so many great overseas players that came to to the Bradford League to play, and it was just a very strong league and a and a great league to cut your teeth in. When you were sort of first getting into cricket, were you, were you always a quick bowler or did you experiment as a batsman, <laughs> as a spinner? I don't know. Um, I was a swing bowler. Um, I was sharpish for, for a young lad. Um, but yeah, it was, it was all run up and, uh, and wang the ball down as fast as you can. And as a batter, I used to try and smack it as far as I can as well. No, oh, it might be a little bit hard to believe when you see me <laughs> blocking it out in the test match or on the count. But I used to try and uh, score as many runs quickly. But... I was batting at four or five, um, under 17s, and that sort of got lower and lower as, <laughs> as the, the older I got. And I know that you go now to quite a lot of club dinners, and you, I guess you, you want to put something back in because it's given so much to you. Yeah, it's fantastic going to, to, to club cl- club cricket, especially um, at presentation night, to, to see all the excited faces, to see people coming back in to, to collect the trophy it just takes you back to to your Pudsey Kongs days and you're thinking wow that I can remember sitting there uh, and I think the guy that first came up to present trophies was Martin Moxon so I was sat mm-hmm. there as a youngster thinking now oh, Martin <laughs> and sort of like an idol coming in and thinking wow and then lucky enough to play with him um, at the end of his career and then obviously be under him when he was coach do you get to go back to, to Pudsey so much now um, no, not really. I haven't been there for for, for a while. Um, normally, it was being cr- busy with um, in the summer with cricket, and then in the winter, you, you you tend to forget about cricket, don't you? <laughs> Unless it's on the telly. 